Hey everybody, welcome to the Glimpse channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Hey friends, my name is Yad and this is my sister Amina. Hello, I'm happy to be here. Today, we are going to talk about this book, Turtle in a Tree. We'd like to thank our friends at Penguin Random House for adding this gem to the Project Brave journey. It was written and illustrated by Nisha Hudson. It's a simple book without many words, but it still led to so many great discussions in class. Today, we'll be presenting some of those ideas to you. One of the themes found in this book is perspective. That's like your point of view. It's your way of thinking about or understanding something. Your perspective is connected to your experiences, your culture, your knowledge, and even your family and friends. In this book, there are two dogs, a greyhound and a bulldog. They are having an argument about what's in the tree. The greyhound says there's a turtle in a tree. The bulldog knows that turtles can't climb trees, so he disagrees and says that it's probably a squirrel. The bulldog offers facts about turtles to try to convince the greyhound. The greyhound isn't convinced and continues to argue from his perspective. After all, he knows what he saw and he knows that he's right. This makes the bulldog really angry. As he starts to raise his voice to insist it can't be a turtle in the tree, Greyhound does the same. The two friends end up shouting at each other. Sadly, things escalated from a calm discussion to a heated shouting match. All of a sudden, a turtle falls out of the tree, followed shortly after by her friend Squirrel. Riding on the turtle's back, the squirrel ends up underwater at a nearby pond. This gives the readers and the two dog friends an explanation of how the turtle ended up in the tree. Bulldog was first to say sorry when he saw the turtle. He was wrong. Just because he knew the facts didn't mean he was totally right. Then, after seeing the squirrel, Greyhound had to admit he was wrong. Just because he saw something with his own eyes didn't mean there wasn't something he didn't see. These two friends realized that just because you're not all the way right doesn't mean that you're all the way wrong. This book teaches us that it's important to look at all situations from all perspectives. By listening and talking to one another, we can come together to learn from each other's experiences. Friendships can be tricky. Similarities between friends can make friendship very comfortable, but learning from each other's fabulous differences can be wonderful as well. Just think about turtle and squirrel. They are learning from each other. Visiting each other's habitats. Okay, everyone, please close your eyes for a moment. We'd like you to imagine something with us. Replace the two different dogs and turtle and squirrel too with human characters from different cultures or religions. Different experiences and beliefs can lead to different opinions. Sadly, these differences often lead to great division between people. The Glimpse team hopes for a world where we can all learn from each other. We don't have to be all the way right or all the way wrong. We can come together and accept each other's differences and maybe even challenge our own opinions with new experiences. Before we end this book reflection glimpse, we'd like to remind you to check out the super clever scene presented in the end pages of this book. Another discussion, another argument, another lesson to learn, what's really in the pond? Have a great day everyone and remember, let's learn from each other. It's the brave thing to do. Great job, little sister. Great job, big brother. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, you can change the world one brave day at a time. There's
This has been a Glimpse Production. Thank you for watching.